Hi there, my name is Meg. I'm here with Little Fit Finley, and we are from AIM Fitness, and I'm a specialized fitness coach and personal trainer for older adults and seniors. And I'm so happy to have you join me today. So our workout today is going to be done sitting down in a chair. And this is perfect for you if you're wanting to move a little bit. Maybe you're a beginner, maybe you're busy, and you just want to fit in a few minutes of, of uh, movement, and especially some upper body strength for those arms. So let's get started. All right, so before we grab those weights, and by the way, if you don't have weights, that's okay. You can definitely use canned goods. You can even fill up water bottles and use them. But before we go, we're gonna start with some movements to really warm up those arms. So make sure you're seated right on the edge of your chair. We're gonna start by swinging your arms right in front and extend those arms back behind you. All right, so nice and easy swings. Good. And as you do this, don't forget to breathe. It can be really easy to focus on the movements you're doing, but not to think about your breathing. So we want to breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. And I will definitely remind you as we go. <laughs> All right, let's do three more swings. Two and one. From here, we're going to bring those arms and figure eight to right across your body. So nice and wide and then right across. All right. Now, anytime we cross over those arms like this, we are using a different part of your brain. So for those of you who are thinking about really keeping your brain young, doing things to challenge your brain, this movement will be really good for you. All right, good. Let's keep going for another three and two and one. All right, and then one more warm up move. We're gonna reach your arms right up over your head and alternate arms, so do your left and then right. And just notice how those arms and shoulders are feeling. It is normal to hear cracking. <laughs> it's normal maybe not to be able to go quite as straight or as far on one side as the other. So just listen to your body. Even if you can go halfway, that's really good. Good, let's do three and two and one. Excellent. All right, so we're ready for those weights. Let's grab your weights. All right, we're gonna start. Continue to sit on the edge of your chair so you've got lots of space right behind your back. All right, so the first one we're going to do is this. We're gonna be lifting your weight, lifting, and you wanna lift up close to your armpit and then lower the weight back down. Have those elbows nice and wide. Good, and just imagine you're lifting a heavy bag, maybe from the grocery store, you're doing some groceries, bringing a bag of uh, food or um, other things home with you. And it's important to have strong arms and especially strong shoulders to be able to do all of those things, uh, like shopping, like cleaning, getting ready in the morning, all of those things are so important. And it's sometimes only when you lose that strength that you realize that, ooh, wow, I didn't realize how much I used my arms or my shoulders. All right, let's do three more per side. Good. And two more. That's great. And one. All right, good. Now let's lower your weights to your body. We're gonna circle the shoulders backwards here. All right, that's awesome. All right, so one of the movements we did a little bit earlier is to really work the shoulders as we reach up overhead. So we're gonna do this with the weights next. So let's bring your weights right in front of your shoulders. We're gonna do one arm at a time and press right up overhead. Now, if this is a little bit too much, maybe your shoulders are not liking it, you can go down to one weight and hold on to the weight with both arms. So this is another alternative. I'd recommend starting here Good, because both of your arms can support each other. Or keep going, one arm at a time. All right, that's good. Now, if you do know that you have a weaker side and you know that um, you really need to strengthen that side, then I recommend doing one arm at a time. Because with the other option, it is easy for the strong arm to do all the work. All right, so you'll just have to be honest with yourself. <laughs> Good, Woo. all right, feeling those arms. Let's do two more. Still breathing. 
and one. Last one here. All right, set the weights down. Excellent job. We'll circle your shoulders back. And next we're going to move to the front of the arms, the biceps, the bicep curl. All right, let's bring your arms right here at your side. Today we're gonna to be doing a narrow curl, so you can keep the weight like this, and let's curl right up to your shoulder and lower the arm down, lower the weight down. All right, alternating sides. So as you do this, think about your shoulders, sitting up nice and tall. Hopefully you're not touching the back of your chair. Option number two is to do both arms together. Remember to go slowly. It's in the slow lowering of the weight. That's where we end up doing all of the work. That's where we're building strength. All right. Good. Let's do a few more. Again, you can choose to do one arm at a time. Like I said, if you have one weaker side, then focus on one arm at a time. That's good. Let's do three. And two. Good. Working the front of the arm. This is helpful for lifting things, getting ready in the morning, maybe taking care of a pet. Circle your shoulders back, that's great. All right, now I'm curious, talking about pets, I've had Finley now um, for quite a few years. He recently turned seven years old. Hard to believe, I got him when he was six weeks old, just a little guy. But I'm curious, let me know at the end of this video, I know it's not fitness related, let me know if you have a pet and what your pet's name is and how old they are and uh, what they mean to you. All right, we're gonna do one last one, one last exercise. This is for the back of the arms, which we like to tone, and it's important to strengthen the back of the arms too for pushing open doors. So we're gonna set one weight to the floor, we'll just use one. You can turn a little bit in that chair, and we're gonna bring one arm to your knees, right across your knees, lean in a little bit, and we're gonna be lifting the weight to your shoulder and then extend the arm back. This is where we're working the triceps, the back of the arm. All right, so let's breathe in and breathe out. Good, relax your neck. You can just look towards the floor. All right, good. So for all of these exercises, I do recommend doing them between 10 and 15 times. And uh, if you want to watch the video a second time, you can always go through it another round. All right, very good. Let's do one more here. And let's set that weight right to your knees. Circle the arm back. It's good to stretch it out. All right. And then we're going to do the other side. All right. So same thing. Bring the legs right in front, leaning over. Lift the weight and extend the arm back. All right. Now you'll know if you've been exercising this part of the body because you may be a little more sensitive. You may feel it. I've been working my triceps this week and I'm feeling it and it feels good. So it is good to think about what part of your body are you working as you're exercising so you can really pay attention to that part of the body. Sometimes it is easy to think about our to-do list or what we're going to be eating later on in the day. So really pay attention to what part of my body is working and am I noticing it. All right, set the weight down here. Now make sure your weights are tucked under your chair so you don't have to worry about stumbling over them when you get up. And let's circle this arm back. All right. Excellent job. That's great. I hope you're feeling really great. Let's finish here with a big stretch. We're gonna bring those arms wide, squeezing your shoulder blades back, breathing in, and then breathe out, give yourself a hug. Breathing in, stretching, and breathing out, give yourself that hug. I'll show you from the side because you can really see the nice stretch of the spine. All right, if you have osteoporosis, keep your spine straight like this. Otherwise, you can choose to lean back a little bit more and then round your back forward as you give yourself a hug. All right, one more time. 
All right, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed our workout. I hope your arms are feeling really great. And I would love to hear from you before you leave. Be sure to leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed our video. And today I would love you to share this video with a friend who could use this workout as well. So be sure to share the video. And also don't forget to let me know if you have a pet. <laughs> have a wonderful day and we'll see you in another video soon. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you feel really, really great. Now, if you enjoyed this video, you will love my program. Click the link below. It will take you to my website and it will tell you all about my membership program so you can keep exercising with me right at home. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe because I have lots of other videos just like this. Check out my playlists and the other videos here and I hope to see you soon. Thanks for joining.